What's up guys? I hope everybody's having a great day today. Mine is okay, like always, and hope you guys enjoy my last vlog video I just post. Not too long ago, actually last Sunday. Uh, if you guys do want to check it out, it'll be down below. It might be up here or down below. It might be a little description down below. Or you scroll on my YouTube channel, it'll be right there. And uh, you probably see the title of the video. Yeah, I'm going to be reviewing Milwaukee's Fixed Blade Knife. I can't pronounce this word right here beside the four inch. Um, it's that type of blade. I ordered this on the Home Depot uh, website. Uh, if you go in there, you'll see like all the tools or whatever you want to order. You can order them online. Um, but sorry, my you can probably hear my bird. Uh, I guess she's squawking for no reason. But yeah, this is a full tang. I think that's how you to say it where the metal is here all the way down it's actually a pretty good size i saw some videos of people reviewing and, and they say it's actually pretty sharp and um it can good for camping um of course a few other things but um i think the metal is actually still in silver still in silver i don't know if I'm, I hope i'm saying that right still in silver where it can't rust or you know um Okay, let's open this bad boy. Uh, the last time I did a knife review was actually at my old house. Um, when I did a few of them, actually. I, if you want to check that out, you probably scroll down. You might have to go a year ago <laughs> or two years ago. Uh, you might find those videos if you guys want to check those out. I think I did it in my backyard or something like that when I was in my old house. I know I did a few of like showing you guys my knife collection, but this is like, you know, um, the open with my other knife. Okay, I'm gonna see how to properly open this. Open by the bubbles. Sorry, this might take a while. I might cut it here and then I'll see, I'll see you guys when I'm, yeah, opening this. Sorry about that guys, I had to get it open and I didn't want to take too much time. Um, it do, oh yeah, and it does come with a sheath. Uh, it comes with this uh, black sheath, not that bad. And it does lock up or does like get into the blade where it's just not going to fall out. Look at that, see how I'm going to wiggle. A little wiggle, a little bit wiggling in the side of the sheath. But other than that, it's pretty solid. You just have to like, click it in and it's pretty good there. Um, you know, you can put it inside your belt. It's actually pretty sharp. Because sometimes knives are kind of dull when you buy them and you have to sharpen yourself. But knives, like 50% of the time, usually knives are pretty sh are sharp from, uh, what do you call them, factory set or something, whatever it's called. Um, this is like a plastic kind of type. Uh, not like, not cheap plastic, but like a solid, like solid. Like same probably same kind of plastic or something like they use for the suit suit drivers or hammers or kind of like that kind of feeling. I, it is a pretty good grip. Like you see, it's a good grip. And you, there's these grooves for your fingers for your thumb. If you had to hold it like this or like here, uh, it's a good size blade. The blade is about I think I said I don't know if I said it in the beginning, but it is a four inch blade. Um, the handle it's good for uh, if you have big hands. It would be a perfect one. It's not like too tiny or anything like that. Um, I have the Milwaukee logo on both sides. Um, on all their tools, they do have this little, um, little person. It has like for like eyeglasses, just in, like you know, and usually it has like a phone number beside it. And I think I said it in the beginning, but yeah, the metal is still in. Silver and silver. I'm saying that properly. It is pretty sharp. If you guys ever know, want to know if your blade or whatever is sharp, uh, what you could do is use a piece of paper and go like this. Or uh, if you guys know, you don't do this with your if you want to touch it with your finger. What you do is you hold it, you hold it like this, and then you just go like this, and like go against the blade. If you feel like that. And you feel like there's a, I don't know, I'm not, it's hard to explain it, 
but it feels kind of sharp. You know, it will be like pretty sharp. Um, because you with dull knives or anything like that, it's a different feeling. And if you put if you even put pressure on the dull knife, it won't cut you. That's probably why. This I can tell is pretty sharp. Um, it's actually pretty nice. The last, uh, yeah. But yeah, maybe I'll put a link of the last time I did a review on a knife down below. It might be beside the newest one. If you guys want to check those ones out, you can. And uh, maybe I'll put, and I'll also put the video of my, my weapons collection video if you want to check that out too. I might put even a third link to that one if you want to check that one out. Um, and uh, I will be doing a video literally tomorrow. Uh, but you might enjoy that review video. It's going to be pretty good. Um, I'm actually really excited to get this. I literally ordered like I think it was yesterday, and I got it today. That's pretty fast because it said it's supposed to show up on the 18th, and it's only what uh, 16th. That's fast. Damn. <laughs> Jesus. <laughs> and um, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. I might end. I'm gonna end it here. Here. Like, subscribe, comment down below, and I'll see you guys next time. And oh, and if you guys ever want me to test the Milwaukee not, uh, fixed blade knife on a piece of paper or a lemon or something like that, let me know and I will do a type of video like that. Uh, maybe I'll try to do it somewhere outside or something like that. Just let me know if you guys want me to do that type of video. I could. Yeah. Like, subscribe, comment down below.